I'm not going to look at you. What a day of rejoicing. Jim, thank you. As Chip said, Jim had picked out many of these songs we sang today, like Heaven Came Down and My Hope is Built. And he knows just what I need, an amazing grace. And this song, When We All Get to Heaven. I guess it was about six days ago, I got a text for and understood that Jim had asked Chip to lead these songs today. And he had asked if I would pray for him, for us, for faith. I told him I'd be honored. I guess it's been over the past, I don't know, 10 months to a year. Y'all can be seated. Y'all be seated, please. This may be a minute. I'm sorry. I've gotten to know Jim, uh, not, as, not only as Jana's father, but as a friend, and especially lately, we've texted, we've talked, and what I've come to know of Jim is that, oh, he loves his father, he loves God. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I prayed that I wouldn't do this. The whole, I think of thinking about Jim, you know, about 12 days or two weeks ago, and he had to start deciding on hospice. And I know I can't imagine how hard that is for a person. I know we've been through it with Teresa's family parents but you know many people of this world look at hospice as someone to come in and prepare for the end not Jim he looked at it as somebody that was getting him ready for that new beginning because he has that faith and he has that love for our God as I thought so much about him, I think about Jesus talking to us back in John 14. And he says, my father's got many rooms, room for us. And he goes, Jesus, he, he's gone there to prepare those rooms for us. But what's so wonderful is he promised, he makes us a promise. He's made Jim this promise. I will come back and take you to be with me. Gosh, what a wonderful day that will be. Jim's not hiding from it. He's looking forward to it. He's, I hear stories of like hospice nurses and people they're visiting and talk to. He's not talking about his pain or his hurting or his, I know he's gonna miss his family. But he's talking about Jesus. He's talking about a God that loves him so much that Jim is looking forward to it. And I just thank you, Jim, for your faith. I'm going to pray. Bow with me, please. Father God, oh, Father God, we love you so much. We thank you for loving us. And, oh, I know Jim thanks you for loving him. You know how both Jim and I, when we address you, Father God, that we like to call you Father and God. In the name God, we see your power and your mighty, your creation. But when we address you, Father, we feel that love, that love of what we can only compare to a kind earthly father, but we know that you're millions of times more loving than that. So we love to address you, Father God. Dear God, I just thank you for that love that you, your love, Father, that you are showing us and showing people through Jim, your good and faithful servant. I thank you, Father, more importantly, for the Christian legacy 
that he leaves on this earth when he goes to be with you. I see it through his family. I see it, see it through his grandchildren. I see it through the love that he spread through all of this, dear God. I thank you for the calls and the texts that he's given me in support, Father, on my Christian journey. And I know he's doing that for many, many others, people that he loves. And I thank you, Father. Father, you're a God of grace and you're a God of mercy. And I thank you that Jim can sit there this day, Father God. I know he's not feeling well. And I know he has to be in some pain. And, but Father, he believes in you. And he believes that he is going to be healed. He is going to be healed, Father. When he steps across. And he hears you say, my good and faithful servant. I'm so glad you're home. Dear Lord, I pray for his family. I pray for their peace and the strength that they will need going through this, Father God. We love you. Oh, that's all we can say. And I pray all of this, Father, for Jim, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, our Savior, more important, our Redeemer, Amen.